Why do you sing with so much passion and emotions? Angels, so welcome back. Today I am going to be checking out a Ken Chinez who just came out with a music video. So excited. Um, able to actually check it out on time. So the title of his song is Canary, which is a bird. I think it's kind of like um more known for singing kind of a beautiful things. I do think that uh, there was like a little bit of a representation for the bird as in like power of a voice or something. I don't know. There, there might be something different. I don't know. I'm not a... Um, I'm not good at these things. So to me, it feels like this music video is going to have those moments that are going to like represent things that I'm not going to get all the way and stuff. So I'm looking forward to checking this out. There's, there's no English closed caption at the moment as I'm checking this out. Uh, but afterwards, when I'm done, I am going to go check some of your guys' comments to see how much you loved it in, um, for this music video and just the song because we, we know the vocals, right? Like this is like one of the first thing everybody, you know, is here for because of Kenji's vocals and beautiful presentation, the music videos, like the ones like very artistic. There's just so much depth into in them. So I am, I'm waiting. I'm ready. Let's get to it and then I'll check out the comments and then leave my own behind. Let's go. Make sure my volume's up. ありふれた毎日が夏が I wonder if this is like a kind of like look back at the beginning where they started. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you sing with so much passion and emotions? It's like makes you want to cry just the, the entire time. Gosh. <laughs> oh, I really am looking forward to seeing the lyrics. Oh, the letter times. Look how like 
emotional he is and trying to like picture this. Oh! No crying, no crying. Sad moments in a relationship, the fresh ones, the, you know, the beginning, and it's like the end kind of a thing. No. His vocals are just <sighs> watching the birds. Oh my gosh, that was just... Whew, I'm good. I definitely, 100% need the um, lyrics to this to, you know, check it out to see um, more of a deeper representation and the meaning behind this music video. Because... Um, without knowing the language and stuff just from uh hearing his voice and then the music video you know to me it feels like there could be um couple or two few different instances and um stories behind there that could have been like um all of those people were like that same couple from the very beginning to the to the end together type of thing or this could be like a separate people uh just showing the different stages of life and their relationships and stuff like that uh kind of like a different view and things <sighs> that was so beautiful his voice just i'm sorry that was 100% have to have this on my list um cuz this this is just this is so beautiful and I need to see if there's actually sometimes there um some artists post uh, the lyrics on uh like in the description and stuff like that so I don't know if he has this or not okay who dislikes it maybe the people who were crying disliked it but you know it it comes with the you know with the presentation Okay, so this is the the um, album. So this song is the very last. Got Flamingo, got Lemon, Teenage Riot. My daughter loves Teenage Riot. Um, right. Okay. All right. It may be weird, but I'm so proud of him of his courage. Of all the efforts he made and makes to create art, you know, like I said, you know, his art, like you know, his music videos are totally like pieces of art, and they're just 
the ones that you don't understand, I think you can just kind of like imagine things and put your own little story behind there. It's uh, like a really sad vibe after two years of women. Everything will be fine if it's with you. So who is your he or she would you like to share with me? Maybe. Some people share. I'm still amazed by his voice, a unique voice that makes me nostalgic. I don't know why. His voice is just incredible. Even though I can't understand the lyrics, the singing still speaks miles. I agree. See, that's the thing. Like, you know, when it comes to music and stuff, it's, you know, music is such a universal language to where you do not really need to necessarily uh, hear and understand. You are here to like appreciate the artist and the vocals and the emotions that in a performance, whether it's sad, whether it's happy and stuff like that, you know, or confused and things like that. It's just you are here and be able to, you know, paint your own picture with you know all the instrumental and the vocals and if there's any kind of imaging going on in there so you just piece it up piece it all together and then maybe later you go and actually check out uh the correct translation and then there's going to be another picture that's what i do i usually imagine my own and then afterwards i read and figure out the actual closed caption and that's when it goes to us like oh okay so it actually was this way i was totally wrong that's totally a normal thing for me to do. All right, so we do have you know, a lot of comments. So wonderful. Uh, all right, so again, this was so wonderful. And I am so happy to be able to check this out. And I'll be keeping back, you know, coming back, listening to this over and over again. And then maybe there will be some closed caption at that point. Maybe not. Then I'll look them up on the Google and stuff. Most of the time I'm able to find that. Sometimes not. But, you know, it is what it is. But Kenshin is absolutely amazing. I am so glad that I was uh, introduced to such an artist. And I'm looking forward for more of his pieces so thank you so much for this edition of having more link in the comments below subscribe to the channel hit the subscribe button so you guys have a super